Dan, given the volatility in the market and the uncertainty politically that we have here and abroad, how are you investing in this environment? What's your strategy? Well, my strategy is a value-oriented strategy. And you've heard all the usual stuff about buying at discounts to intrinsic value. But I like to emphasize the fact that stocks are equity in a business. People's eyes glaze over when I say that, but it's important because equity is a residual claim on the earnings of the business. You, you get paid last. Equity holders get paid last. The, the CEO and all the employees get paid before you do. Trade creditors, secured creditors, unsecured creditors, everybody. So if you know that, what do you want? You want to insist on an equity where the business is gushing plenty of extra cash flow so that there's something over to give the equity value. That's what the equity is valued on, the cash flow over time. Now, one of the stocks that you've been looking at more recently is Brookfield Asset Management. You're recommending to buy the stock. What's your thesis there? Uh, thesis there is a phenomenal business run by a great investor, a guy named Bruce Flatt and his team. Um, they have produced excellent uh, returns for shareholders since 1989. They've produced more than 15% a year, which is a great record over that period of time. Now I have a question on the stock. Do you think it will be weighed down? There's a spin coming by uh, of Brookfield uh, Property Partners. Could that weigh the stock down? Because we saw something similar when they spun Brookfield um, Infrastructure Partners. Well, Lindsay, in fact, you see that any time any stock pays any sort of dividend. And mm -hmm. that's what these things are. When they spin these off, the stock uh, a piece of the company comes public and is paid to the existing shareholders as a dividend. So, you know, if it's worth $5 and the stock price is $30, the next day or the next minute, as soon as that happens, the stock goes to 25 and then you get your $5 and you haven't lost a thing. Mm -hmm. In fact, you've gained quite a good deal because a spin-off makes that piece of the company much more visible to investors. And I'm recommending it because it's cheap. Uh, the net asset value of this thing is 42 bucks, and it's still trading below 35, mm -hmm. I, I believe, as we, uh, <laughs> as we talk here this morning, maybe 33, 34, something like that. You're a buyer under that 42 for sure? Yeah, I'm a buyer up to probably about 35. This market is Stock tickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're getting...